welcome to the course excelling with mathematical modeling. Today we will be talking about the dynamics of rowing. Now if you see the video you can see that in rowing this boat a person has to push the boat forward against water using this oar and hereby he exerts a force which is known as tractive force. Let us denote it by T. And as the boat moves forward, you will see that the water adjacent to the sides of the boat, it exerts a force and resulting it in losing its speed. So, basically it will be in this direction, in the opposite direction and we call that force at drag force. Let us denote it with D. So, while forming the equation of motion, we have to take care that what is a tractive force and what is a drag force. So, if V is the velocity of the boat, at any time t, then you have mass into acceleration, this is the velocity and since we want the boat to move forward, so t must be greater than d. I mean if t is less than v, obviously it will not move forward. So this will be t because the boat is moving forward, its force has to be greater and there will be a drag force minus t. So, this is the equation of motion for a person rowing a boat. Now, if we elaborate this equation, so we get m dv dt equal to t minus t. Let us now see on what other forces this uh, tractive force and this drag force they depends. So, if we say P to be the effective power that a person can sustain for the entire length he has to row. That is, we assume that the person has entered a race and then he has to keep rowing till he reaches a particular length which can be say 500 meter or 700 meter and let us the effective power that the person can sustain is denoted by P. So, you will have effective power which is equal to the tractive force. multiplied by the velocity. So, you have P equal to P multiplied by V. And from fluid dynamics, we know that this drag force, it is proportional to the square of the velocity and to the surface area in contact with the water. There is a surface area below the boat that is in contact with the water. So, you can say that this drag force is equal to some V square some s multiplied by k which is the constant of proportionality and this s is that weighted surface area or you can just say surface area since it is in touch with the water we use the word weight. So, now this tractive force and this drag force they will be substituted here. So, we will be getting our equation of motion as m 
dv dt which is equal to p minus d which is p by v and this is k v square s because your p was t into v so from here t is t by v. So now you have to solve this differential equation using your known method. So if we separate the variables, we will get some v dv divided by p minus k v cube s and that is equal to dt by m. So what you are going to do is you will take this s and k common. So to put it in some form that we write it as you take 1 by k s common that is p by k s minus v cube. So that if you multiply this, this becomes the same thing and this is equal to integration dt by m and we write this as integration v dv divided by a cube minus v cube equal to k s by m integration dt where your a cube is p by k s. So basically this constant is written in the form a cube because we have a v cube here and it just look a bit symmetric where your a cube is this particular constant which is p by k s. Now this is a bit known form and we will integrate this. You use partial fraction, this will be v dv by a minus v uh, a square plus a v plus v square and this is equal to k s by m into t plus the constant. this can be written as, so you have to use this partial fraction and you can easily show that this is minus dv by 3a v minus a and plus 1 by 3a v minus a divided by v square plus a v plus a square. This is equal to k s by m plus the constant. If you integrate this, you are going to get this is dv minus 1 by 3a log of v minus a plus you again write this as 1 by 6a 2v plus a divided by v square plus a v plus a square minus 3 by 6 integration dv by v square plus a v plus a square. So basically what you are doing is you are just differentiating this and if you differentiate this, this is 2v plus a. So straight away you put 2v plus a here and then you adjust the constant and if you adjust the constant, this is the constant which is coming and you will get this particular uh, separation. So straight away from here, this will be, if I put this expression as z, so straight away I get uh, log z because this is the, the numerator will give the differentiation of the denominator. So this will give 1 minus 3a ln v minus a plus 1 by 6a ln v square plus a v plus a square. and then this is half times, so I have to form this a whole square which will give me v square plus 2 into v into a by 2 plus a square by 4 minus a square by 4 plus a square and this is equal to k s by m t plus constant. So minus 1 by 3 a ln of v minus a plus 1 by 3a ln of v square plus a v plus a square 
this is minus half of integration dv by v plus a by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square and that is equal to ks by mt plus constant. So, this is tan inverse uh, x by a and you get a bit simplification, you get this as minus 2 ln v minus a plus ln v square plus a v plus a square minus 3 a into 2 by root 3 a tan inverse v plus a by 2 by root 3 a by 2 and that is equal to k s by m plus constant. So, this you can easily achieve by just some multiplication and simplifying and then this two will give you ln v square plus a v plus a square by v minus a whole square because this will go up minus this cancels 2 root 3 tan inverse 2 v plus a divided by root 3 a and this is equal to this 6 k s by m t plus constant. Then you assume that at time t equal to 0, the boat was at rest and which will imply that the velocity is 0. So, this is a relation between the velocity v and the time t and if you substitute t equal to 0 and v equal to 0 your constant is going to be ln, this is 0, this is 0, this is a square, this is also a square, this becomes ln 1 will be 0 minus 2 root 3 tan inverse v 0 1 by root 3 and minus 2 root 3, this is pi by 6 because we know tan 30 degree is uh, 1 by root 3 and so it is pi by 6, 2 by 3 and this is minus pi by root 3. So, you substitute this constant here and you get ln v square plus a v plus a square divided by v minus a whole square, the minus 2 root 3 tan inverse 2 v plus a divided by root 3a which is plus pi by root 3 is equal to 3ks by m multiplied by t. So, this gives you a relation between the velocity and the time in the dynamics of rowing a boat. We just now uh, let us change the equation of motion and let us see that what alternate solution we get here. So, we start with the same thing, but now our acceleration is instead of m dv dt, we just put m v dv dx. So, I want a relation between the velocity and the distance. The right hand side remains the same that is the tractive force minus the drag force and this is equal to p by v minus k v square s. So, if we now separate we are going to get this is p minus k s v cube divided by v. So, we get v square dv dx is equal to, I take this k s uh, common, you may, you may not actually p minus k v v cube divided by m. So, separation of variables give v square dv divided by p minus k s v cube 
multiplied by m and you integrate both sides. So, now the integration becomes a bit easier because now you can substitute this z which is equal to p minus k s v cube and your dz will be minus 3 k s v square dv. So, your v square dv is replaced by dz and this is m by minus 3 k s dz by z equal to some x plus constant. So, if you integrate this, you are going to get minus m by 3 k s ln z which is equal to x plus constant. You substitute the value of z and you get ln p minus k v cube s which is equal to x plus constant. Now, at time t equal to 0, the boat was at rest, the velocity is 0 and there is no movement. So, x is also 0 and this gives you the constant is equal to minus m by 3 k s ln p because this vanishes. So, you substitute it there and you get minus m by 3 k s ln p minus k v q s equal to x plus constant. So, what you do is you take this to this side and you will get m by 3 k s ln p minus k v cube by s minus ln p that is equal to minus x. So, your ln p minus k v cube s minus ln p is equal to minus 3 k s by m into x. So, what you just did is you use I uh, have rewritten this and only now this is multiplied. So, 3 k s by m multiplied by x with a negative sign. And this can be written as ln p minus k v q s by p is equal to minus 3 k s by m into x. And this can be simplified as p minus k v q s divided by p equal to e to the power minus 3 k s m into x. So, 1 minus k v q s by p e to the power minus 3 k s by m to s, then k v cube s by p equal to 1 minus 3 k s by m into x. So, this is just taken this side and this one this side and ultimately your v cube is equal to p by k s 1 minus e to the power minus 3 k s by m into x. So, you can say the v is equal to p by k s to the power one third and 1 minus e to the power minus 3 k s by m into x to the power one third. So, this gives you a relation between the velocity and the distance. We now look into the numerical solution of this dynamics of rowing for which I have two equations, one is dv dt is equal to p minus k v cube s divided by m v and the other one was v dv dx that v I have taken down to make it v square p minus k v cube s divided by m v and if I bring that v down it will be v square. So, I will solve this two equation with initial condition v 0 equal to 5 and 
let us see the dynamics. So, this will be the dynamics between the velocity and time and this will be the dynamics between the uh, velocity and distance. So, I have the time and the velocity, I have the distance and the velocity. So, I change both of them to 20, the time is 0 and this will be equal to 0 plus 1. So, I give an increment 1 because h is 1 here and I drag them to say not much say 50 values. So, at time t equal to 0, I have taken v equal to 5. Uh, let me quickly change their format also. change them to 20. So, this is equal to. So, I am first solving this first equation. So, this is equal to v0 plus h which is a constant multiplied by this whole expression. So, P which is 100 and is a minus K which is 0 0.01 again a constant multiplied by V cube which is V cube bracket closed divided by M which is 10 again a constant. So, I put a dollar multiplied by V bracket closed and I put the whole thing in the bracket again. So, this gives me some value. I just drag them up to this much. So, if I want to plot this two between the time and the velocity, I go to insert chart and this one. So, it is reaching some steady state value. If I want to increase, so up to say 100, so let me calculate say till 150. And let us see where this is going. So, I select these two again up to 150 and then we will plot this. So, you go to insert charts and this smooth diagram and I get this value. 
So, if I want uh, to remove the grid lines, I remove them, want to put the access title. So, this is your time. And this is your velocity. And the charge title is dynamics of run. So, let us look into the other part say the distance I can put to 0. So, at time t equal to 0 the distance is also 0, the velocity is initial 5. So, this is equal to the 0 value plus 1 and I again drag it up to 150 values. So, this is now equal to V0 plus H, which is a constant. So, I put a dollar multiplied by P, which is again a constant. minus k, which is again a constant, multiplied by v cube, multiplied by s, which is again a constant. divided by m which is again a constant multiplied by v square and I put a bracket here and a bracket here. And I get a value. So, I drag it again. 150 values and if I plot them go to insert, choose the chart and this one. So, I remove the grid lines, I want to add axis title. So, this is your distance and this is The velocity and this remains the same dynamics of Roy. So, if I make the graph a little smaller. I can bring them side by side 
and I can see the dynamics. This is the velocity of the rowing with respect to time and this is the velocity with respect to the distance. So, this gives you the dynamics of rowing a boat. In our next lecture, we will be talking about uh, oscillations, mainly the vertical and the horizontal oscillations. Till then, bye-bye.